Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. Today in today's video, I want to talk to you about stepping stone soulmates and cosmic exes. They can be two different things and I will tell you a little bit of why. But I first want to ask you if you are experiencing any of the following. Heartache. Are you feeling depressed? Are you feeling like this is sort of a, uh, a defeat? Are you wondering if you should just admit defeat? Do you feel lifeless, flatlined, as though your life is going nowhere? Okay. The first thing I want to tell you is these are all valid. These are valid parts of the process. And there are some things to help you. For your heart, and I do sell these on my store at TwinFlameBody.com. Heart Blend for the Heartache with this combination of herbs. And you can write to me. I have found this one very helpful. I will explain it to you. The other things. Do you get some magnesium every day? Magnesium is very good. Most people can have some, and um, the amino that's here, the aspartate, for people with uh, certain genetics, you might actually need some additional of this. This tends to be Northern Europeans. You might need additional uh, amino here. This is for healthy heart, nerve function, and actually for the upper area of the body, your high heart connections. What else helps? And some of you did um, reach out for this Powderco. Powderco is a bark from a tree, but what it helps with is to cleanse out emotional connections. And this is like triply important to make sure that you are clearing out the past in as smooth a way as possible so that you yourself can continue to function. A lot of people don't know about this stuff. Like some of the doctors, they don't know how some of this plays out. That's our job. We are the pioneers. We are the ones breaking in the template, so to speak. We have the new vehicles that we're, you know, bringing it to 10,000 miles and kind of test driving. What else will help you? Well, if you have that flatlined, slightly depressed, defeated feeling, fennel. Um, fennel is very good. Uh, this is capsule form. It's available. Uh, this is how it looks. Okay, it's very fragrant. It smells and tastes like black licorice, but it's actually from the upper part of the plant. It has um, excellent qualities for soothing, soothing the areas of you that have been argumentative or have had to worry about walking on eggshells and other things with soulmates. Soulmates, especially cosmic soulmates. So when we talk about soulmates and having to get along, and at one point in one of my videos, I used the word cellmate, <laughs> which people found funny. Are you with your cellmate or your soulmate? Okay. And what are stepping stone soulmates? These are people that help you get from one point to the next, just like the Ariana Grande song, Thank You, Next, where this one helped. She, she sang about how, this gentleman helped her learn this, and that gentleman helped her learn that. So these are people that are with you during your ascension. You could call them ascension pals. There's usually never deep passion, but there is a sense of getting along until you don't get along anymore. And if you're still living with those people, and it, it could be a lot of people too, other soulmates could be people like roommates. They can be an ascension pal. But if it's someone who's been your lover or your spouse, that's going to be a tough one to continue living with them. What if it's someone that you just meet? Okay? It's as though you've been in some other place and you each come out of the exit door and take a look at each other. Okay, there's some parallel there, right? But you look at each other and you're like, oh, they kind of recognize each other. They kind of have the feel of home. Why? Because they came from the same origin, the same group of souls. So how do you really discern who's who? Because there is a huge thing happening. Everyone is breaking up with each other. Not all at the same time. 
It's sometimes in little bits and pieces and phases. And you're getting to a new normal. But what you're in right now, that is not your new normal. It's not intended for you to feel bad and someone else feels worse. Okay? Like to give you an example right here. Okay? Where he's saying, what is he saying? You just got ghosted. And someone is just saying, yeah, I'm not feeling it. Or, you know, I think we can be friends, but he really doesn't want to be friends and he's not going to be a friend. Or... I like it when we talk sexy, but yeah, I don't really want any more responsibility than that. I'm just, I don't, yeah, not feeling it, okay? Should you be into a person like that? What about another one? What about someone who's provocative, okay? They're a little fire starter. They like to rile things. They like to get you riled. They like you to come to their rescue. They like you to make them feel better and explain things to them. Maybe be their spiritual guru. Maybe just be their little emotional support. How are you getting any love reciprocated to you from this? These are not even valid relationships anymore. Okay? Stepping stone. What are you learning about you? Okay? What are you prioritizing? Because the more that you focus on union, which means unifying yourself with the valid connections that are here for you now, that actually builds you up and makes your life smoother, helps to get away the, the unessential deadwood people out of your life. I'm a person that helps with that. I help you get to the next level. I help you get acclimated and out of these things. Do you feel listless? Do you feel depressed? Do you feel lifeless? Do you feel flatlined? Are you mistaking some of this for the twin flame journey? The twin flame journey isn't all about suffering. It's about having really high level experiences. It's about having merging experiences. It's about putting the proper parts of you two from wherever you've been back together. Not as a broken soul or a broken person. Your soul is not broken. Okay? What happens is the ego and the hara break away. Your ego is not designed to connect with another person. Your ego is designed to be your own personal subtle body for your own protection, and the personality that you exude. This can feel like a breakdown, though. When it breaks away, it feels like a breakdown. You can feel anxiety, and you can really feel like you're having a breakdown. Listless, depressed, lifeless, flatlined. Do you feel like an old lady? Do you feel like an old man? Do you feel defeated? How do you come to life again? Order some of the supplements that I have outlined. Pay attention to your heart. Pay attention to some of those places on you. And my first book, the one called Your Subtle Body Connections, this has information in it on how the runner returns. Not just information, things to do. I'm a firm believer in telling people what you have to do to get to that level, not just report some cosmic energy. There's plenty of people reporting cosmic energy. And you, where are you, what's happening? You're feeling it with your body, and then you go to the internet, and you want to see the twin flame report, and the cosmic energy report, and the astrology report. And I'm saying to you, I am here to teach you about your light body. I teach it. I live it, eat it, I breathe it. I don't dabble in this. This is what I do full time. I've done it for several years. But a lot of people are just now coming into this uh, awareness of how much, you know, how big this really is. And that, yes, it's about as simple as two people living together harmoniously. With two people, it's you and the world around you being in harmony and the grand scale of your existence. That's what this is about. And so when you 
when you do work on your unification, which is your union, that actually is what actually tells you ahead of time what that cosmic energy is, what to do about it. If you don't know, that's okay. I wrote it in my book. What do you do in lunar energies? What do you do in um, retrograde energies? What should you do? My whole series of books is, to, is intended to start you from the ground up to get yourself up and running and to be able to get to the fifth dimension and hold your physical union together. So how do you come to life again? The very first thing is make a decision. Make a decision whether or not you're living or not. If you're saying things to yourself like, I can't live like this, or this isn't living, or I want to be alive again. I want to go places. I want to be with someone. I'm tired of this ghost who's a ghost from the past. Pay attention to yourself. Okay, when you need help with it, I have a much more concise session. I have two sessions that are intended to help you. My intuitive ascension session, which does help also uh, with what types of supplements would be helpful for you because I pick up on mild medical things. Okay, I'm the bridge between that. If you actually have a medical condition, I will ask you or I will suggest to you that you go take care of it medically. But there are things that your body goes through that can sometimes be alleviated very easily. So there is that one, and there is my Spirit Subtle Body Session. This is good for addictions on either side of your union. Is it you? Is it your twin flame? Is it um, stuff that runs in your family? How do we disentangle that and have it never bother you further? Bipolar, um, the depression, okay, these kind of things. Are you feeling just down and blonde, like you need to lay down and you'd like to check out from like, and maybe you cannot afford to. Maybe you don't have the kind of job with sick days. Or maybe this ascension stuff has made it so that you've used up a lot of sick days and people are questioning things. Okay. The rest of the world won't understand what you're going through. Your family, if they love you, they will cut you some slack. But the rest of the world sometimes doesn't understand. And they're not going to until they start going through it months from now, in a month. That's another thing. Pay attention to what is happening now and stick to things. If you are feeling a sense of defeat, make the investment in yourself that you're worth it. Because I would rather see people make that investment in themselves and have it pay off tenfold because I've seen it than to squander themselves wasting time, effort, energy in the wrong direction. You will never go wrong by focusing on you. Whether it's an investment on you, a focus on you, and you, 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 because you're already connected, okay? The internet doesn't connect you. In fact, you have to become good at heart communication. Her communication is not telepathy, which is why telepathy breaks down for people. It's not there anymore. It's not sustained there anymore. It's not propped up. The only person you'll ever feel is your twin. Okay? Feeling stuff from your twin that they go through, how would you like to rise above the icky stuff? I help with that. I help get it moving so that you're not the one propping up someone's, you know, bad life or bad relationship and it's time it's time because the wise people will actually make this a part of their life you're going to have to just like you would maintain anything that's new you polish it you tweak it some people never do anything for themselves or their children and maybe they can't they view it as though they can't afford it but when you make it your wish to be able to do so, you'd be surprised how it comes up. So there is my book to help. And there is, these are two sessions. Now, are you in the Chicago area or are you coming to Chicago? I have several evenings set up where we are going to talk about the subject of twin flames, love, 
read some poetry, have some refreshments, do a meditation. It's going to be a lovely evening. It'll be fun. We laugh. I've done these before. August 30th, September 13th, September 27th. These are three Friday evenings from 6.30 till 8.30. Um, and it's at the North Shore Healing Center. I will be doing work at the North Shore Healing Center on the northwest side of Chicago. Email me. Twin Flames Merge at Gmail. I will be doing a two-day workshop there in a kind of a two and a half day workshop in October, October 25th, 26th, 27th. Why? Because some of this stuff, once we get into it, you'd be surprised how into it you get. You start feeling, you start experiencing, you start having higher activations, and you start feeling confident, not defeated. Come back and feel confident. Come back to someone who has actually been teaching some of the other people out there. Okay? They come to me when they get stumped. Come to me when you get stumped. I guarantee you I will be able to help you with guidance and moving it. Okay? My way is... Get those obstacles out of your way. Get the obstacles, the blocks, move the boulder, move the pebble. I don't care what it is. If you're like the princess in the pea and you can feel those little pebbles and those little annoying things and you're going, oh, what's going on? Let's get it moved. Is there a boulder blocking you? You need to learn how to fly over it or skirt around it or something. Come to me. I will help you. This is the um, big push of energy that we are in. Once we change seasons in the northern hemisphere, it is going to be time to uh, what I would call take a dive. And that's going to be some deep stuff for people. In the southern hemisphere, it's going to be time to lighten up. And there's been a lot of things happening weather-wise that you know, it can't help but affect your subtle bodies. That's another thing is that you're part of you're part of living here. And some people are here on this earth and they're like this and they're like, oh my God, why are people bullying each other? Maybe they haven't had a lot of earth lives. And other people are like, ha, ha, ha. I know the game. I'm used to playing the game. <laughs> you know, like these two people. We've played the game so long that it's bending backwards on itself. So thanks so much for watching. Please come and check out my live stuff. If you're in Chicago, reach out to me. This is going to be a fun thing. And a lot of people tell me, I never know where any other Twin Flames are. Well, come for a gathering. Come for people that get you, okay? get you like you at every single one of my events people have met each other and they've made a friend who gets them and sometimes that's all you need is one person who actually is a friend and who gets you you can have friends who know you from way back in the day and if they love you they love you that friendship that was formed at the feet of god some of these people please leave them in the past <laughs> because they will serve you no purpose for where you're going. You're here to be in love. You're here to be uh, transcended, transformed, and actually deeper and higher in love than ever before. This is not a mistake. God didn't make a mistake and say like, oh, well, you know, let me see what this is. No, it's quite the opposite, actually. It's almost like God said, okay, listen, um, I'm going to have to create something here so that people can't hack each other because it's getting way out of hand. Okay, let's turn the positive. Let's look at the positive and be positive and get some positive results quickly. So thanks so much for watching. Reach out with an email to me. And um, thank you for subscribing. Please subscribe. It does help. I'm trying to get over 11,000 subscribers, but um, please check out my other site, Twin Flame Body, because love heals. Thanks so much. Bye.